Jake. How you hey. doing, mate? You right? Good to meet you, man. Not too bad. Well, um, Glide. It's a yes. paper, play, paper airplane simulation game. Yes, yes. How did this come about? Uh, it came about... Um, we, we started as part of uh, uh, an incubator program right. where we're given an office space and the opportunity to develop our own game. Right. Uh, me and our programmer, Ben, right. we wanted to prove that we could actually release commercial products. So we, we picked something that we thought would be simple, easy, and something we could polish and just make really nice and, and release to the public. But, but, the actual, but the idea of a paper airplane, oh. like, like it, just, it seems so... Like, like, like it, it came about, uh, Ben was working with a separate team doing a bunch of prototypes right. as part of the student project last year. Um, and it was one of the projects that got discarded in favour of something else. Um, and when we were sitting there going, oh, what will we do? Ben went, oh, well, how about this old prototype? And we just sort of played around with it and went, yeah, we've got a lot of potential here. Let's, let's move forward with it. Yeah, so that was always that was always part of the design of, of setting up the fans and throwing the plane to make sure you've got that right combination of um, the, the fans blowing the wind and the right angle for the throw and the right power behind the throw. Um, so it's it's all it's all about making you think and, and seeing how many how little fans you can actually use to get through the level. Uh, you get you get scored on that. And and the actual sort of. Um the, the mental stimulation was that was that part of it as well like, to make people think about how to do it or was that was just like a random bunch of boxes here and there and I said, let's see let's see how well they can do yeah it was it was kind of a bit of that um, the levels you guys played today we actually put together for the AB Expo so we sort of sat down and thought well how do we we slowly introduce people to the game and then ramp up the difficulty so you've got a bit of a challenge there um, as far as the stopping and making people think. That's definitely part of the, the puzzle aspect of, of figuring out where to put the fans. Um, it wasn't um, something we definitely sort of sat down when we want to make people think. It was just, let's make a cool puzzle game where you're going to get playing through and you don't have an effect over it. At the moment we've got builds on, on Android devices, we've got a PC build which is more just for us to test. Um, when we release, we're planning to release a web build, whether that be on like Congregate or similar sites. Uh, we're planning to release on Android and hopefully get it onto iOS as well. Uh, and we're aiming to release either towards the end of this year or sometime during the start of next year. Would there be um, like an internet configuration where people can make their own levels and you have to sort of make... you have to? Go through um, yourself. We actually just, just started started discussing that. Sorry, um, very early stages in talking about that. We we have no idea for, for now to know, but it could be something in the future. Yeah, potential. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Potential. Fantastic. That's, that's really good. I, I liked it. I thought like, it really did make me think, and not many games make you do that. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm a big Angry Birds fan, so with all the physics there, if I, if I launch at this angle, and this is quite similar, so I like it. I, yeah. I really so anyway. Um, that's it. Thank you very much, Jake, for speaking to us. Thanks for playing the and game. Hopefully, this gets bigger and better. Yes, yes. Right. Thank you very much.